There are over 3,000 lizard species, but the Komodo dragon wins the prize for being the largest living lizard in the world. It is a type of monitor lizard, an ancient group of reptiles with ancestors that date back more than 100 million years. Komodo dragons were unknown by Western scientists until 1912, and their common name came from rumors of a large dragon-like lizard occurring in the Lesser Sunda Islands. Indeed, the yellow color of the Komodo dragon's long, forked tongue reminds people of mythical dragons that spit fire. Komodo dragons are incredibly interesting animals that many admire for their various unique characteristics. Their phenomenal size, venomous bites, and other fascinating adaptive traits that make them a marvel among lizards and the animal kingdom. Although the Komodo dragon was once widespread across many Indonesian islands, they are confined to just five today, all within Komodo National Park. The islands of Komodo, Rentja, Gilimonteng, Padar, and the western tip of floors are the last remaining homes for these enormous animals. Habitats include open woodlands along with dry savanna and scrubby hillsides, occasionally dried up riverbeds. Komodo dragons are thought to have evolved to be so big due to the presence of several large mammalian species that are now extinct and lack other large predators. The world's largest lizard, unsurprisingly, has a very unique biology. Not only is their great size impressive in and of itself, but the size and several other traits are also a result of environmental forces over evolutionary time. Specific characteristics that are particularly interesting include their size, their unique reproduction, keen senses, venomous bites, and predatory abilities. Komodo dragons are incredibly large in comparison to most lizards. This is due to biological phenomenon called the island effect. When a species becomes isolated to island habitats, it can become much larger or much smaller than its mainland relatives. This is because on an island, large mammalian predators are often missing, which leaves an ecological niche open. That ecological niche left vacant by large predators is then available to smaller animals. A small animal's growth reaches a limit due to available resources and predation. When those limiting factors no longer exist, being larger holds an evolutionary advantage and will become a more common trait in the population over time. This has been the case for Komodo dragons. They are apex predators, which means no animal typically preys upon them. As apex predators, these lizards have access to sufficient resources and can fill the ecological niche normally held by large mammalian predators. These wild dragons typically weigh about 154 pounds or 70 kilograms, but the largest verified specimen reached a length of 10.3 feet or 3.13 meters and weighed 366 pounds or 166 kilograms. Males tend to grow larger and bulkier than females. They are incredibly strong and powerful with long, thick bodies, short, muscular legs, and an almighty tail that is used for both fighting and for propping the animal up when it's standing on its hind legs. The Komodo dragon is an animal with long, sharp, curved claws that are often used for digging. Many lizards eat plants, but Komodo dragons are carnivores and eat almost any kind of meat scavenging for carcasses, or stalking animals that range in size from small rodents to large water buffalo. Young feed primarily on small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds. If they live to be five years old, they move on to larger prey, such as rodents, monkeys, goats, wild boars, and deer. These reptiles are tertiary predators at the top of their food chain and are also cannibalistic. Komodo dragons are solitary and powerful predators, roaming territories dependent on the individual size, covering a distance of around 2 kilometers every day. They are also known to be excellent swimmers, traveling from one island to another over a relatively long distance. Although they are solitary animals, several Komodo dragons will often gather around a single kill. To catch large animals, these lizards sit for hours hidden in the vegetation, camouflaged by gray-brown skin. They then ambush the victim with incredible speed and force. Most of the monitor's attempts at bringing down prey are unsuccessful. However, 
If it can bite its prey, bacteria and venom in its saliva will kill the prey within a few days. After the animal dies, which can take up to four days, the Komodo uses its powerful sense of smell to locate the body. Komodo dragons have limited hearing and were once thought to be deaf. They do have remarkable senses of vision, taste, and smell that compensate. The sense of smell is their primary method of detecting food. It uses its long, yellow, forked tongue to sample the air. It then moves the forked tip of its tongue to the roof of its mouth, where it makes contact with Jacobson's organs. These chemical analyzers smell prey, such as deer, by recognizing airborne molecules. If the concentration of molecules present on the left tip of the tongue is greater than that sample from the right, the Komodo dragon knows that the deer is approaching from the left. This system, along with an undulatory walk, in which the head swings from side to side, helps the dragon sense the existence and direction of food. At times, these reptiles can smell carrion or rotting flesh up to 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers away. This lizard's large, curved and serrated teeth are its deadliest weapon, tearing flesh with efficiency. The tooth serrations hold bits of meat from its most recent meal, and this protein-rich residue supports large numbers of bacteria, some 50 different bacterial strains, at least seven of which are highly septic, have been found in the saliva. Researchers have also documented a venom gland in the dragon's lower jaw. In addition to the harmful bacteria, the venom prevents the blood from clotting, which causes massive blood loss and induces shock. The Komodo's bite may be deadly, but not to another Komodo dragon. Those wounded while sparring with each other appear to be unaffected by the bacteria and venom. Scientists are searching for antibodies in Komodo dragon blood that may be responsible. The lizard's throat and neck muscles allow it to rapidly swallow huge chunks of meat. Several movable joints, such as the intramandibular hinge, opens its lower jaw unusually wide. The dragon's stomach also easily expands, enabling an adult to consume up to 80% of its own body weight in a single meal. When threatened, Komodo dragons can throw up the contents of their stomachs to lessen their weight to flee. Komodo dragons are efficient eaters, leaving behind only about 12% of their prey. They eat bones, hooves, and sections of hiding, as well as intestines. Besides feeding on large carcasses, Komodo dragons reside in groups during the breeding season. Around September, when nearby males fight standing on their hind legs, propped up by their tails, vying for breeding rights. After mating, females lay up to 25 leathery eggs into a hole that is dug into the soft sand. The young hatch after an incubation period between 8 and 9 months and have distinguishing cream bands, which they lose as they get older. Young Komodo dragons are completely independent of the time they leave their shell. However, until they grow to a larger size, these young ventures up into the trees, spending most of their time there until they are large enough to fend for themselves on the ground. These reptiles live for an average of 30 years in the wild. Since the Komodo dragon is the most dominant predator in its environment, mature adults have no natural predators in their native habitats. Upon the first arrival of people on the islands, the Komodo dragon's lifestyle changed dramatically. Humans hunt these lizards and encroach into their native habitats to establish settlements and clear forests for timber and agriculture. Volcanic activity also threatens these animals, as the islands are geologically active. Events such as this lead to declines in prey species, in turn affecting the local Komodo dragon populations. Today, the Komodo dragon is listed by the IUCN as a species that is vulnerable in its natural environment and potentially faces extinction in the future due to the loss of habitat mainly from human activity, such as agricultural expansion. Although once widespread on numerous Indonesian islands, they are now confined to just a few, with between 3,000 and 5,000 individuals thought to be left roaming the rich, volcanic forests. However, increasing interest in these creatures from tourists give locals more reason to protect them and their critical habitats. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. 
You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.